Right, good morning all, my name is Greg, I'm the Reserve Manager here at The Herd. So today we're going to be discussing sustainability. Sustainability can take many forms, it can be your water usage, what you're doing in the felt, conserving plant life, but today our main focus is going to be our new solar installation. So with many places today, every place has to look at a carbon footprint, what you're using, your diesels, your petrols, and minimizing that carbon footprint. So you had Herd currently from next week, we'll be starting our construction of our solar plant which is going to power the whole of herd and Jabalani and it's very important in terms of for the elephants as everybody knows we do the banner grass for them that needs irrigation for the power for the orphanage for mixing the milk for the orphans so we need a constant power supply and then we look at the carbon footprint so whereas now most places are reliant on generators using a huge amount of diesel that's not good for the atmosphere for your carbon footprint any of those aspects so as I said, from next week, we'll be installing 200 solar panels on the roof here close to our workshop with a backup battery system, which is going to empower the entire setup here at Herd, and thereby relief the use of diesel as far as the generators go and some of the other smaller generators that we use on the property will bring our carbon footprint way down. So we do have erratic power problems in South Africa, so this is the other reason why we're going over to the solar, and it is just much more sustainable in the long term. So sustainability is key in any environment, any place in the wild is where you move towards sustainability. All your lodges, anything like that these days are moving towards sustainability. So solar is one of the biggest things that most places are doing now, thereby lowering the carbon footprint and less impact on your environment. So as the project goes on, we'll be updating you guys, taking photos, doing some drone footage over the roofs. As the project continues, you'll be able to see how it works and when we do the final switch over, we'll also do a video on that and everything will be powered. And then by that means we use less diesel, less coals being mined and your carbon footprint becomes a lot, lot smaller. Okay, so just going back to our solar installation, besides the carbon footprint and lessening that, the problem with these power interruptions is lots of our equipment, especially stuff like your fridges, refrigeration, anything that turns on and off automatically, it damages a lot of equipment due to the power dipping and turning back on again. So solar is the other option of not damaging equipment, thereby you save on a lot of your equipment, saving more money, which can be invested in other options in the company or to use elsewhere in the company. That one is pizza, that one. Pizza. One that uh, charged us yesterday. Look at little Bobby trying to drink. Yes, he always trying to drink from all beef at all, we loon, we talk with sometimes. Like and the other main thing, of course, is the elephants, the orphanage and the stables, which need a constant power supply. It'd be for washing the stables, the cleanliness of the stables, food and milk that needs to get mixed in the orphanage. Also, our care accommodation, the guys that guard the elephants all the time. We live in a very hot environment and the constant power dips make it very difficult to sleep at night or just even to cook your own meals, which is very important to any employee and keeping them all nice and happy and everyone wants comfort. So the constant power dips, it also plays a part in affecting the whole atmosphere of the elephants, their well-being, the stables cleanliness, even the fence around the stables, which stops other wild animals coming in, needs a constant power supply so it can remain regular. So this is, again, you cannot beat solar. It's so important to 
any company as a whole or a project or a person and just the entire happiness of all the staff involved. They want to come to Africa. Oh, okay, yeah. To live here. Yeah, we need them. They must come. Yeah. Good job, Nani, just here. Um, and Lindy and Mambo behind them. Over there. Actually, looking if I can't see Kanisa. That's Pisa. Right down there. Oh no, she's standing. She's there in the middle. I can't believe how she's grown up. She's even sleeping yet. She'd sleep now. It's like um, 10 o'clock at night, but actually just checking on, on our baby, and Joshua's on duty, so let's just go and see what is happening there. Oh, so it's from the outside, doors closed, because we do have leopard, um, Keeping on the light at the kitchen. Insect singing. 